day seven of shock week, you say? Why, there's hardly anyone around these parts no more that can remember a time before Shark Week. Why, well, I was just a little girl. The fair had come to town. Women weren't allowed to wear pants yet. In the olden days before Shark Week began, uh, people had time at night to see others. And when they woke up in the morning, no one was expecting them to edit a video. So the first one last night was, uh, Mega Sharks! Uh, was it Mega Sharks? I don't know. I'm so tired. What was it even called? It was a bunch of Andy Casagrande stuff, which I love. Like, it was basically like a, like a fan letter to Andy Casagrande, uh, by Andy Casagrande. It's just all of the coolest sharks he's seen, which I liked. The narrator at one point was like, Mega Sharks, though technically not classified as a subspecies of shark. I'm like, yeah, so not a shark, they're just a nickname. And he's like, man, they still are different than, they're just big, they're just big sharks. If you told me, hey, Shalia, you're a mega babe, I'd be like, yeah, and I'm still a human. Andy was joined by Dickie. Now Dickie, if you watch Shark Week at all, is the most silly person that's ever existed. They use him as bait all the time, to the point where they make jokes about it. Dickie is their human bait because he's like, all right, I'll do it. Like he's just like down for whatever. And we are gonna someday watch that poor man's death on TV. Favorite part of the episode was that at one point Andy said, if you start hearing us dropping any fucking F-bombs, bring us up. Man, you didn't have to say it. Just, you just said it. You didn't have to say F-bombs. You're cute. You're cute. The second episode last night was Sharks Gone Wild. You know, like the TV show that takes advantage of women. Similar. It had similar undertones. This actually was well named because uh, it was all videos that amateurs have made of sharks. So a lot of it was people taking advantage of sharks and being pretty abusive to them. Just like Girls Gone Wild. Eventually this devolved from like people's actual shark encounters into a bunch of hedgehogs dressed like sharks, which while I can't complain about the content is not really what I tune into Shark Week for. My concern is that if you put people being stupid with sharks on TV, they'll keep doing it to get on TV. I've been told I say TV weird, like it's a person that I'm friends with, which isn't wrong, but I don't hear it. TV? T TV? Is that how people say it? I don't know, but it's my best friend. So the last night of Shark Week is coming up and it's gonna be just one show and it's gonna be naked and afraid of sharks. I can kind of guess where this is gonna go. So I'm preemptively recapping it. Uh, so please enjoy my preemptive Shark Weekap of what I assume will happen on that show. I'm so cold, I'm so afraid of sharks. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Interpersonal problems that have nothing to do with being naked or afraid of sharks. Just people arguing. Don't be afraid. I'm not interested in eating you. I am a sea creature and you are gross. So don't be afraid. You should be more afraid of putting your naked body on television because the internet is a cruel place. In the end, they all fall in love. Hmm. Ow. Well, we've all grown old together watching Shark Week, and I do hope that we make it to next year. Praise be to sharks. All hail our shark overlords, and may they take you in the night as swiftly as if you are a blubbery seal. A amen. I'm gonna keep making this show and perhaps someday I won't have to film it while straddling my garbage can. But for now, that's what this is. Goodbye everyone, enjoy regular week. I can't live every week like it's Shark Week because I would die.